Hey everyone, welcome back to my another new video. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today we are going to fix this motherboard and this is a Sir Spire A315 laptop motherboard and this motherboard is uh, totally dead and uh, someone already tried to fix this motherboard but uh, they could not fix it and they sent to us and now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, as you can see, this is a laptop a motherboard part number NB8607. So, at first, I will check uh, main power rail impedance. So, I set my multimeter and uh, beep mode. And let's check here. As you can see, two MOSFET. So, first, I will check here. So, this line is clear. After I check this current sense register here is also clear so main power rail is clear so now i will uh, plug in connect my dc power supply and as you can see it's uh, taking only 0 0.19 so now i will set my multimeter in dc mode and i will check here we have 19 volt present get 24 okay this line is clear so next voltage i will check uh, 3 volt and 5 volt always voltage so this one uh, should be 3 volt or 5 volt okay we have uh, 5 volt present and it's perfect and this one is 3 volt 3 volt also present and it's perfect now let's check 1.8 volt always so here as you can see so let me show you under my microscope okay as you can see this is uh, 1.8 volt let's check again we have uh, 1.8 volt present always voltage here so let me check now switching volt this uh, power switch and uh, keyboard connector so pin number one is uh, switching so we have a uh, 3.2 volt switching so let's switch here so as you can see no response so it's totally dead so now I will uh, repair this board follow power on sequence in a schematic diagram so I have already a uh, schematic on the board view for this space model so let's open this is a schematic diagram for this motherboard let's open it and I have board view also okay this is the board view for this another board close it close it so now jump to power on sequence here as you can see this is a power on sequence for this specific motherboard this is a AMD chipset or processor so how I will fix this motherboard and how I will follow this uh, uh, power on sequence so as you can see all the number is here so I have already 3 volt and 5 volt on 1.8 volt so uh, I know don't need to check this area so I just need to check this this area so at first I will check this uh, one so let's copy here okay let's copy and paste it here and let's check here this is the uh, IO controller pin number 35 let's check this right in again so one two three 
so we have the 3.2 volt it's okay uh, for present then we need to check this pin number uh, this number two 0.9 Let's check Let's check this also from his IO controller So this is the pin number 87 so count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So count from here 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's check here. Okay, we have a 3.2 volt present. So this also okay. So number 3 is RSM RSTEC underscore EC. So let's find it. So as you can see here, pin number 1 and 2. So let's count from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, as you can see, this signal is not present here. So, almost we find our problem. Let's flip this board view, and as you can see here, we have one diode and one register here also and here also so this register this side we must have present here 1.8 volt so let's find it first so here as you can see so already check here one diode this is uh, don't stop here so one register and two register so here we have 1.8 volt and other side there is no voltage no voltage no voltage so we already find our problem so no voltage so let's check evidence there is no short so now I need to check this two register value here so, register number is RU921 let's search here RU921 So as you can see here, this is uh, do not stuff here, not available, and uh, this register is 10k1 and 0 ohms. So let's set my multimeter in <coughs> resistance mode. And check here, this is uh, 0, it's okay. This is 9.7, this also okay but there is no signal so in this case first what should i do before uh, change this io controller i need to uh, check this resistor i need to short this resistor by this tweezer like this and let's connect the Shot here and connect power supply and as you can see it's turning on look at here it's turning on 
so that means our CPU and I controller are good there is no problem so first I will change this register And now I will short both sides with the jumper worm. Okay, uh, it's done. So let's uh, So let's check again. Okay, as you can see, as soon as I connect power supply to this motherboard, it's turning on. So now I will check display images coming or not. Let's connect this. LCD connector Slide in again we need to wait and as you can see we have display so it's done it's we all fix this motherboard so its problem was RSM RST was missing on this board and we just jumper this register 10 kilo ohms register we just jumper here and this motherboard back to work so i hope you all are enjoy this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much